Hey everyone, Swamp Fox here. Um, back to Kotor. Uh, Knights of the Old. Did I level? I don't know. Let's just do auto level up. <laughs> um, what are, is there any like respecking you can do in this game? I I'm not really sure. Ooh. I hate how I have to keep clicking the energy shield. Frag grenade! Karth doing work. I'll tell you what I need to do. Increase, like, my hit chance. Missed with every power. Come on, it's facing you. These were called back to tanks, by the way. What? I think this is the way to the Beck base, right? Check out the cantina? I think we did. I want to say yeah. I'm pretty sure this is what I was standing out of. Yeah, because we did the fighting arena and stuff. <laughs> Didn't we? I don't know, it can't hurt to look again. Yep, we've already been in here. And that guy that jipped me out of 40 credits. What a dick. That's the Beck base. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Hey, 
Kin Kin Kunoba Mulirachi Kun Tongna Punshan Yunyang Kapa Volpa Mulchi Kamana Runda Tiho Tonga Kun Honka Bing Wana Kun Bez Ching Palamule Tung King Ba Nunotak Tuk Ning Chatukunde Mulirabes Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu, Rana no Prata don't know, Sarcha, it's you a penki. What on a woman, Mulira? Can you do a shark? No, a bully, Mulira, Johnny Tun, Turji, Chiwi, it's a do. Bola on a ditchet. Palamure Slimo Wanga Kun Bisching. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. I really want, uh... want a Mandalorian on my side. Kendris Ordo. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Vex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Lower city apartments, okay. What's on your mind? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but it's golden here. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the... Well, that's all I... You do? Fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. Like, well, it just won't happen again, that's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Yeah. Pretty much, right? I mean, if he can't trust you, how the fuck can you trust him? Me. I don't remember ever saying anything about a traitor. All I mean is that if you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. Myself? I don't need to be in more sense. Can we just get back to business? No, I don't want to talk about it. But I want us to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? What, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. I don't know. Can I talk to the blaster turret? For security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. You can't keep me out if you're dead. <laughs> I'm not here to answer your questions. My orders are to guard the elevator. Now either show me the proper security papers or move along. 
Good. I don't have time for this foolishness. Down here we run a tight ship, not like the slipshot operations in the upper city. Great. I'm gonna just quick save right here. I'm gonna talk to him again. Hold on, unless. And we're gonna see what this dead option does. You just made a big mistake. I guess he was pretty, uh, pretty right on that. That right now, I don't want to. Can I not? Is the shield broke? Huh. That shield only has so many uses? That's dumb. Let's go to the back base. See what they're doing there. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? Because reasons. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open-door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Valkyrie Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Valkyrie's Order, Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. Gadden's ten times man he is. Captured Republic soldier? Well, I gotta ask about that. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zedra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Breshek and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zedra? Like the Vulcas do? I will never let it come to that. I will never! I can let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. 
Vulgar spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with you that. damn well you better. moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Breshik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around hey, Shifty. the city about... Hey, Shifty! What's cracking? But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas. And that's okay in my book. <laughs> the Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulkers aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulkers would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulker base on her own. She's hey, take her. valuable to leave with the Vulker scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. There has to be some way I can help her! I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. You really don't have any other choice. Not if you want to get Bastila back. You should at least listen to what I have to say. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you will win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. All right, break, you mean kick down the front door and kill everyone inside, right? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. You don't like Ga Gaden? Gaden? Why not? Seems like a generally nice guy. Doing the right thing. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. Yeah, and I already tried killing him. Which didn't, uh, did not work well. <laughs> A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard. But the security down here is much tougher. 
You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Hmm. I'll give it up. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. What's up with your freaky eyes? I'm very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zedra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulcans. When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed that I would step down as leader of the hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch-rivals, the Black Vulcans. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Brezhik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city See gangs. See the tanker, there's somebody. If down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulcans. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know you're right, Zerdra. Breshik won't rest until I am dead and the Bex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. Your time... A foreign army... Don't fool... But... Your... Not while the Sith quarantine is in place. Even the fastest smuggler ships can't break the blockade of the fleet surrounding the planet without the proper launch codes. Any ship leaving the terrace atmosphere without the proper codes would be instantly disintegrated by blaster cannons fired by the Sith fleet's automated targeting systems. Yeah, I think that's it. I suggest... Ah. Was the base this way? That's the Sith place. Let's check out the lower apartments. Uh oh. Isn't that the bounty hunter? Chiwi Aita ka chong chi cha. Agi inko tune chura moli ra. Tangi wama chiko na. Tong ki pa nonku nek abog. Chiyo kaku! Here's a bounty on your little green heads. 
I'm here to collect. Just grunky to pets, Nemo. Ki ita kanki chana kilikon. Kimba muli rap wana ji. Kimba no ku nixet abog. That's the plan. Loot the guys? No? Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? Pro you got it. I don't think they uh, took too kind. Ooh, an energy shield. I'm trying not to look at that. stuff in here. Electronic personal message center that looks like it hasn't been used in some time. There's one unread message. So, Fenteris, I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave Hyperdrive behind to keep that company? I hope you're still practicing what that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you because you might need it. Terrace is not like Alderaan, it can be very dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everyone locked up in that old strong rock. No one's going to be busted into that thing. Or so you think.
Hmm. No problem. It didn't work. You said no problem. Guessing it wasn't his brother. Uncle Louie. Pushovers. No problem. Got it. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. I gave you a chance. Now you'll see. their cards. What? Hey, hippo! It's cracking. I got, uh, it's old Republic finally working. Adrenaline amplifier, what does that do? I could have two energy shields equipped? Oh, is that even possible? It doesn't make any sense. What happened year? Oh, what happened yesterday? I, I don't, I'm not sure. My, my internet was getting all wibbly wobbly and timey wimey. Do you have any good, any good weapons? No. Oh god, I look like a retard. <laughs> but I am one shot in these fucking Volker.
Yeah, my internet was just being screwy and wouldn't let me connect the stuff for whatever reason. I think that's everything. I'm just gonna once over some stuff. <laughs> you apologize if you haven't been to the. <laughs> your sentences aren't full. It's my birthday and it's been to the bar. <gasps> it's your birthday? Whoa. Happy fucking birth, miss. That's, that's how you say it. <laughs> oh, it's empty. I guess I got a bounty claim. She's she's an assassin, so I don't really have a problem killing an assassin. You had one too many uh, to drink there, Hippo? Yeah, I thought I'd grab that too. Okay, I think we're down in the lower city. Well, in the apartments, anyway. Now, we're... All right, I gotta head to Undercity to find that Twi'lek chick and her Wookiee. And do not fuck with these blaster turrets, because you cannot kill them. security papers. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Alright, we will do.